Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction monster film called Land Shark. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere on the edges of a nearby ocean, a father and his son is fishing from the shore, and the two manage to quickly capture something that appears to be very large. The people try to pull the animal towards the surface while thinking that they have caught a gigantic fish, but only to find out that it was a body part of a cow that was ripped apart. This makes them realize that something is horribly wrong, as they see a bunch of wreckage in the ocean, while a massive shark appears onto the surface and charges directly towards the people. The humans watch in absolute fear as the giant monster launches out from the ocean, while eventually landing onto the ground and charging directly towards the population center. Six hours prior to the incident, a group of wealthy investors are gathering inside a secret underground facility, where the owner of the company Mr. Chen is showing the people about his new experiments that can potentially cure cancer for humanity. It's quickly revealed that the man is planning to modify the genetics of sharks to produce the medicines for eliminating cancer, as he tells his wildlife expert called Song to summon the giant animal towards the laboratory. Very soon, the man begins using a special sound frequency and eventually manages to attract the giant creature as it quickly jumps out from the underground water pool and stunning all the people with amazement. This causes the investors to immediately go sign the contract with Mr. Chen, while the company owner tells the people to start the final phase of the experiment. However, the lead scientist called Xing warns the man to not be so hasty as they should wait for the results of of the second phase to come out before proceeding further, but Mr. Chen refuses to listen to the woman as he only cares about the money that he'll make from the investors. Very soon, the people begin preparing to commence the third phase of the experiment as they plan to change the shark's genetics even more. This causes the scientists to launch their underwater robot, which quickly manages to sedate the animal by using its tranquilizer before moving onto the massive creature to inject the experimental serum inside the shark's body. Luckily, the the foreign materials eventually manage to fuse with the shark's genes without killing the creature, which means that their third phase of the experiment is a success. However, the lead scientist eventually decides to continue monitoring the animal closely to determine if there's any unwanted side effects, but her work is quickly interrupted by her boss's daughter called Yu, who appears to have a close relationship with the woman. It's quickly revealed that Mr. Chen has to attend another meeting with the investors and decides to leave the girl inside the building alongside the other scientists, but what the people don't realize is that the shark has already become something that's truly horrific. Very soon, the alarms begin to sound as the animal's vitals appears to be malfunctioning, which causes all the scientists to rush towards the observatory right away as they try to figure out what's wrong. However, before the people can identify the problem, the shark quickly jumps out from the pool and devours the scientists right in front of everyone, while causing all the humans to be stunned in fear as they shut the external doors immediately. Just when the people think that they are saved, the shark begins crashing onto the window and eventually cracking the glass in the process, which causes tremendous amounts of water to rush inside the building and knocking out the victims who were too slow to escape. When the waves eventually subsides inside the facility, the remaining survivors quickly resurface from the water, but they immediately realize that they're in serious trouble as the shark must be inside the building as well. This forces the people to climb onto the furniture's right away as they try to avoid being killed by the mutated monster while the giant shark slowly approaches the humans from inside the water. However, a female survivor eventually falls down from the furniture in fear as the creature quickly devours the woman in a single bite while causing the blood to spill everywhere and making the shark even more hungry in the process. Song sees this and realizes that they're running out of time as he decides to jump inside the water while swimming towards a nearby weapons locker and trying desperately to retrieve the tranquilizer from the inside. This causes the shark to charge towards the man right away, but luckily, Song manages to break the container and finally obtain the weapon while barely dodging the monster's attack. However, just when the man tries to tranquilize the vicious creature, he quickly realized that the shark has gone hiding inside the water, which makes it nearly impossible to shoot the animal from the surface. With no other choice, Song decides to take out the tranquilizer before jumping directly towards the monster inside the water and injecting the creature with 
the syringe. Luckily, this eventually causes the shark to lose consciousness before devouring another victim, while the people decide that they must leave this location immediately before the animal wakes up. This forces the people to venture inside the water once again, as they try to make it towards the exit without waking up the giant creature. However, what the people don't realize is that a survivor is bleeding continuously from her injuries, which causes the shark to wake up immediately from the smell of blood and dragging the victim inside the water as a result. The people sees this and begins panicking in fear, while the monster continues devouring the humans who are left behind. Things become even worse when the group discovers that the doors have malfunctioned in the building, which effectively locks the people inside with the monster. Luckily, the humans quickly notice another exit through the venting system on the ceiling, and begins rushing towards the ladder immediately. Song sees this and decides to buy the people some time, as he tries to lure the creature away from his friends, while barely dodging the shark's vicious attacks. Surprisingly, just before the main character is killed, he manages to repel the monster with an electric wire, and causing the giant shark to quickly escape the other way. This allows the man to finally catch up to the other people, as they eventually make it out towards the surface and away from the laboratory. However, just before the group can relax, they quickly notice a massive crack on the ground, which makes the humans realize that the shark has somehow gained the ability to move on land. Song sees this and tells the people to run away immediately, but Shing suddenly realizes that her boss's daughter is still inside the vicinity. At the same time, the young girl is waiting for her father to return inside the playground, not realizing that danger is already close by, as the giant shark launches out from the ground while destroying everything in the way. The girl sees the hideous monster and begins rushing towards the slides for shelter, while eventually managing to run inside the structure. However, the creature continues trying furiously to hunt down the human and completely destroying the playground in the process. Luckily, just before the girl is killed by the monster, Song manages to rescue the child just in time, as he quickly begins running away from the giant shark that's chasing them from behind. The main character eventually makes it back towards the other people, as he tells the humans to quickly run the opposite way, while the massive creature is hunting down all the survivors like praise. Despite the people's great efforts to escape, the monster is clearly too fast for the humans, as it quickly grabs onto the victim by using its jaws, before landing onto the ground and dragging the person underneath. The team sees this and tries to rescue their friend immediately, as the people jump towards the monster while trying to pull the victim away from the creature's mouth. However, the shark appears to be way too powerful, as it easily shakes off the humans, while eventually devouring the victim at the same time, and gravely injuring the scientist who was trying to rescue his friend. This forces the people to run away from the location immediately, while the monster is clearly still hungry for more human flesh. Very soon, the group is forced onto the rocky terrains, while Song tries to save his friends by tricking the shark away from the people and causing the creature to fall inside a cliff. Luckily, the main character manages to grab onto the edges of the rocks, while avoiding the continuous attacks from the monster, and eventually climbing back towards the people once again, as they escape from the creature temporarily. When the humans eventually arrive towards a different part of the forest, the team decides to take a break from the running, while Song demands to know how the shark has become so powerful. It's quickly revealed that the scientists managed to combine the genes of earthworms with the sea creature, which gave it the ability to maneuver on land, and the power to heal damages very rapidly. What's even more, the mutated animal has the ability to reproduce by itself, which means that they have to kill the giant shark before it gives birth to even more monsters. However, before the people can finish talking, they quickly begin feeling a vibration from close by, as the monster has tracked down the humans by smelling the blood from their injuries. Suddenly, the creature jumps out from the ground while quickly consuming the injured scientist in a single bite, and causing all the people to run desperately for their lives. But the creature refuses to allow the humans to escape so easily, as it continues attacking the survivors from behind. This eventually causes the group to split up, while the shark begins chasing the young girl alongside another scientist, who eventually pushes the child towards the animal to save his own life. Surprisingly, the shark quickly jumps over the girl while heading directly towards the selfish man due to his injuries, and quickly devours the scientist as well. However, the creature eventually turns around towards the young girl, as it charges directly towards her sound of crying. Luckily, just before the girl is killed, a barrage of gunshots are fired towards the animal, which forces the creature to retreat immediately, while the mercenaries begin chasing the monster across the field. It's quickly revealed that Mr. Chen has come to rescue his daughter alongside his men, while the soldiers 
villagers quickly forced the giant monster towards a corner and trying to surround the creature from all sides. This eventually allows the people to try and capture the massive animal by using their nets, but the monster proves to be way too strong as it pulls the soldier across the field while avoiding all the bullets at the same time. The scientist quickly makes it towards the battlefield as well, as they realize that the monster is completely out of control, and Song decides to take the grenade launcher from the vehicle before landing a devastating hit towards the giant creature. However, before the main character can finish the kill, the man is pushed from behind, which eventually allows the monster to escape from the location as it jumps directly inside the nearby water. It's quickly revealed that Mr. Chen has no intentions of eliminating the monster as the creature is worth a lot of money, and the businessman demands that the main character must protect the giant shark no matter the cost. This makes Song realize that his boss has gone completely insane as he decides to quit the job right away. However, the businessman quickly threatens the main character by pointing a gun towards his friend and forcing the man to retrieve the giant monster in exchange for the woman's life. With no other choice, the man eventually decides to head out towards the ocean to track down the monster alongside the mercenaries, but they quickly notice that something is wrong as the people discovers a massive field of wreckage that was caused by the giant creature. What's even worse, the group realize that the shark is heading directly towards the nearby town, which means that they must stop the animal before even more humans are killed. Very soon, the monster begins swimming towards the nearby shore while eventually jumping towards land, and revealing that it has grown much larger than before as it eventually begins heading towards the city that's filled with innocent people. At the same time, the humans from the nearby town are enjoying their day inside the busy streets, but the people quickly realize that something is wrong as they see the massive sea creature crawling on top of the buildings. This causes the people to panic immediately as they try to escape from the giant monster while the enormous shark begins charging through the streets and devouring the humans like walking hamburgers. Very soon, the creature manages to chase the people towards a residential location as it eventually corners a young girl in the process. Luckily, just before the child is devoured alive, the monster begins acting strangely from a high-pitched frequency, and it's quickly revealed that the scientist has finally managed to track down the creature while forcing the monster to charge towards the people immediately. Very soon, the group decides to capture the animal by throwing their bait inside the ocean, but Shane quickly receives a video of the monster and realizes that the sea creature has grown exponentially while completely dwarfing their bow at the same time. This causes the people to try to escape from the location, but they are quickly pulled away by the massive creature while causing the vessel to shake violently and knocking out the female scientist as a result. The people try desperately to hang onto the boat but are eventually thrown inside the water while leaving only the main character who barely manages to hold onto the vessel. However, the monster eventually makes it towards the shore as it pulls the boat towards land and quickly throwing the main character towards the trees like a flying ragdoll while dragging the vessel inside a giant tunnel to hide from the other humans. Luckily, the mercenaries manage to receive the whereabouts of the boat from the soldiers inside the ocean, while Mr. Chen commands all his minions to go retrieve the monster immediately. At the same time, it's revealed that Xing has somehow managed to survive the crash as she slowly wakes up inside the wreckage, but soon finds out that she's the only person inside the cave. The woman tries to use the walkie-talkie to reach out to her friend, while Song manages to pick up on the other side, but the lack of signals prevent them from communicating any further. Luckily, Song eventually manages to recover without any injuries, as he quickly manages to find the trail that's left behind by the monster, which allows him to go rescue his friend immediately. On the other side, Xing has managed to locate the satellite device that they used to lure away the monster, and eventually decides to go towards the highest point inside the cave while using the computer to send out signals for help. However, before the woman can go back into hiding, she quickly hears a loud roar from behind and realizes that the giant monster has found her location. Luckily, the woman is saved by the mercenaries who manage to arrive just in time as the people begin shooting the monster with all their firepowers and causing the creature to struggle in pain. The captain sees this and commands the people to use the electric guns while the soldiers begin stunning the monster with extremely high voltages, which eventually causes the animal to collapse onto the ground. After confirming that the monster has been knocked out from the electricity, Mr. Chen quickly comes out from behind the soldiers as he goes towards the giant creature in amazement, while the main character has eventually made it inside the cave to rescue his friend. However, before the people can leave this location, the businessman quickly stops the main character.
character as he has an additional offer for the people. It's quickly revealed that Mr. Chen wants the female scientist to make more of these monsters inside the laboratory, but Xing refuses the deal immediately after witnessing how many people the creature has killed. This forces the businessman to become furious as he points his gun towards the scientist, not realizing that the giant creature has regained consciousness already as the massive animal devours the man inside its jaws. The people sees this and begins running immediately as they eventually escapes away from the cave, but the giant monster quickly launches out from the ground while knocking the soldiers flying across the field and dropping the gas grenades in the process. This gives the humans the chance to rush towards the nearby cover as they try to hide away from the massive creature, but the monster quickly begins attacking the soldiers inside the fog as it continues devouring the humans like prey. Very soon, the people are quickly wiped out by the flesh-eating animal while leaving only the captain behind as the last remaining soldier who chooses to fight against the monster by unleashing all his bullets towards the enemy. However, his efforts are completely useless as the gigantic monster shows up right behind the soldier and immediately devouring the man inside its jaws. This eventually allows the main character to run away alongside his friend as they try to lose the enemy inside the forest, but only to see that the monster is still searching searching for their scent. Song realizes that they can never escape from the animal together and decides to protect the woman by luring the giant shark away instead as he uses the transmitter to attract the enemy towards his location. This causes the monster to chase after the main character furiously as he narrowly escapes being devoured alive while jumping away from the creature. But the giant shark continues pursuing the human like a giant Pac-Man and causing Song to eventually drop the transmitter in the process. With no other choice, the main character is forced to run the opposite way as he rushes towards the grenade launcher that was left here from before while barely dodging the animal's ferocious bite. Luckily, just before the main character is killed, the monster is quickly stopped by the high pitch frequency just like before as Xing has decided to help out her friend by using the transmitter to distract the creature. Song sees this and quickly takes the grenade launcher while the giant shark begins charging directly towards the woman instead, but the main character is unable to obtain a clear shot towards the monster's mouth to blow up the enemy from the inside. Just when things are looking hopeless, one of Song's friends managed to make it towards this location as well, as he throws the bait directly towards the monster and causing the creature to launch towards the sky with its jaws open. This gives Song the chance to fire numerous grenades inside the creature's mouth and causing huge explosions inside the monster's body as the animal crash onto the ground and turning into the largest sushi in the world. Very soon, the people manage to recover from the explosions as they see that the enemy has finally been killed, but they fail to notice their friend anywhere in sight. The people rush desperately towards the location to look for the main character while fearing that the man has perished as well, but luckily, Song eventually shows up behind his friends with only minor injuries. This causes the people to run towards the main character as Xing embraces the man in absolute joy for finally surviving this catastrophe. However, what the humans don't realize is that the danger is not over yet as the monster has already given birth to its numerous offsprings. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.